The purpose of this podcast is just to rant about the stuff that we like. So, if that doesn't sound like your cup of tea, this show probably isn't for you. This podcast also contains a fair amount of explicit language. We are Australian, after all. If I let you in on this, you've got to promise to keep it on the down low. The less people know about this, the better. Call it lazy, I just create what is in my mind I use the same breaks in my beat sometimes Wanna decorate my office so I bought some fake lavenders And speakers bump and catch you on the highway to Los Angeles Never try to hide you from my life if you can handle it You know I try to find you in the dark Which is the candlestick, the flowers of my heart Always in case of metal shackles When I look into your eyes, you're like Wonderland of Alice Shit, if we can avoid incendiary incidents in real life Then we never have to do anything ever again work in the real world hello everyone hi guys welcome back how is it going uh this is stuff we're excited about this is a podcast about stuff we're excited about yay uh i'm finley i'm cloud uh and and, and? my printer is running in the background so oh. i just want to say at the top of the show i said it at the end of last show uh i'm sorry if i sound weird because there's a 3D printer running in the background if there's like hum or like my voice sounds overly sort of noise suppressed or something uh my printer is running in the background i'm running another like 28 hour print <laughs> so there's that uh how how are you going what's up what's, i'm good what is up what's down i've had a very busy week i've had a lot of uh school stuff going on had a big assignment had a long very busy weekend. Lots of Your voice fun. sounds shot. Uh, yeah, that was probably from, from last night. Because I actually stayed over at a friend's mm. house. And I got home this morning. Uh, <sighs> yeah, it was really I fun. Spent all we did a pub crawl. Yesterday evening. A pub crawl? Like yeah. World's End? I wish. We wow. went to two pubs and that was it. You wish Earth was being no. I taken wish over we went by... to twelve pubs instead of just two. Two I... is it a pub crawl? That's leaving one pub and going to another one. That's what I mean. I wish it was like World's End, where we went to more than two. That was a really good movie, by the way, and it's my favorite of the Cornetta trilogy. Yeah, it's massively underrated. I love it. It's the first one I massively saw. Massively underrated. So that's why it's probably. That's I mean, probably why Hot it's my favorite. Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz, Hot Fuzz is Fuzz... really good is like it's agreed that it's the best but yeah. I, I couldn't choose I, I i like all of them equally i think i'm just a bit biased because i saw world's end first so that's yeah. why anyway i spent all of last night calibrating my 3d printer oh um that's that's how i like to spend my saturday night lovely <laughs> is, sounds great is 3d 3d printed calibration um because it was completely fucked for about oh. two or three two or three days um it just was not extruding just nothing was happening yeah um every time i would try to extrude any material or print anything the extruder would just be click click ticking away and, and nothing would happen nothing would nothing would be coming out of the nozzle it was horrible the sound of extruder clicking has burrowed its way into my dreams oh my god um, i have a trauma response every time i hear that noise now uh but i've got it back up and running and it's printing pretty fucking good right now that's that's um, good news very good news yeah. all of this came from me switching to orca slicer which I don't is know what a that different means. slicing software that i okay slicing software yeah is where you take the 3d model it's software where you where you, Im you import a 3d model and then it converts the 3d model into a toolpath or, or g code that yeah. the printer can read and then it so that it knows where to go and where to deposit material oh it's called slicing software because it slices the model into layers into the layers yeah right oh okay that's cool the more yeah. you know um so i i have been using cura for years and it's been all right cura isn't I mean, it, Cure is good, but mm. it's not great. So, and everyone was saying, oh, try Orca Slicer, try Orca Slicer, it's really good. Um, so I did, and then 
there was some majorly fucked shit right in the way that it generated g code for my ender 3 which caused some fucked up shit to happen to my printer that i had to fix oh um when i was like playing around with the settings trying to get it to work for some reason it just started like doing this thing where it would start printing when the nozzle was only at 150 degrees which is it... not hot enough to extrude material how hot does it get so that it, it gets up to i mean i'm printing at 210 degrees sometimes right i now. forget that you actually have to like melt the plastic for it to work yeah yeah oh wow the, i don't like the, that the optimal printing the optimal printing temperature of the filament that i'm using at the moment which is i mean it's really good filament it's e-sun e-sun please sponsor us um <laughs> <clears throat> uh it's uh, Esun PLA plus high speed. Okay. That shit is good. I love Esun's filament. Um and the multiple printing temperature is 110 degrees to 100 to sorry, 210 degrees to 230. Oh, what the fuck? Um which is hot. It's, I'm just thinking that, that is that is very very hot. Yeah, that reminds me of like the highest uh recommended temperatures for like straightening your hair. Like, if you have really thick yeah, hair, then you that's... can turn the hair iron up to that, and it'll be all right. But if you have really thin hair, it's got to be, like, 150 or something. Hair straighteners scare me, man. <laughs> it's not that bad. I, I've i never uh, used... Unless I've it touches your ear. Iron. If it touches your ear, it hurts. Yeah. I've never used a hair iron, and I don't think I ever will. I mean, I... Your hair's straight I, I enough. Really like, it pretty, doesn't... Yeah, you don't I need to. I have fucking straight hair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're, we're getting off, yeah, off I, task. <laughs> so this the the thing that it was doing where it was just starting the print at 100 it was starting extruding when the the nozzle was only at 150 degrees uh. that caused some major fucking issues inside the extruder uh. so there there is a there is a tube that goes from the extruder motor down to the nozzle cube and that tube has to be um completely flush with a like it goes from the extruder to a thinner part of a like a metal tube. It goes down into a metal tube, which then gets thinner, which is where the filament goes into the nozzle. Right. Have it you? It has to be completely flush with the you, end of that. There you, cannot be any gap. Finley. Yeah. Have you ever printed one of those yeah. lions where you can like hair dry his hair and then style it? Oh, a hairy lion. Yes. I haven't. Why haven't I you? I haven't. Actually, you should. Because it's. A, I don't have a heat gun. Hair dryer. I don't have a heat gun, so it wouldn't work. Hair dryers don't get hot enough. Some of them might. Well, I don't know. You can still put them in the microwave or something, and then... <laughs> I'm not, not going to do that. Um, it anyway, explodes. It, so they, where, when the, where the Bowden tube meets that that tapering in mm. the extruder uh, tube, sorry, the hot end tube, um, there has to be absolutely no gap. It has to be completely flush. If there is a gap, then filament will ooze into that gap and get completely locked up and nothing will happen it will oh. just get completely stuck oh yeah which is what happened like in in my extruder because the piece of bowden that i had in there because i i've modded my printer so that it's a direct drive oh which is where instead of the extruder being mounted on the printer and then there being a tube that goes from there into the hot end uh, the extruder is actually mounted on the print head so that it just pushes the filament directly down into the uh, into the extruder, right. which gives you much more consistent extrusion. Mm. Um, but that piece of Bowden had, I don't know how, I guess it had like melted a little bit on the end. It had shortened slightly or like shrunk. But right, yeah. I, I had to completely disassemble the entire thing pull that out and you can only pull it out when the hot end is really hot you can only pull it out when the hot end is like 230 degrees so i was holding this thing really carefully where with a pair of pliers and yeah, pulling and out this tube from it oh um God. which was nerve-wracking i am still amazed that i did not burn myself at all burn myself or anything else yeah because um, it's it just reminds me of like a hot yeah. glue gun but it moves that is essentially what it is yeah right 
Okay. A, a 3D printer is essentially just a uh, a hot glue gun that uses plastic that is mounted onto a like a, a CNC machine. Yeah. That is do. essentially what a 3D printer is. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. What? I saw someone uh, on TikTok yeah. talking about what they do with their leftover filament. Oh. Where they'll have like... They'll have like uh, maybe less than a hundred grams of a spool left, like less than fifty grams, just not enough to pr- actually print anything. Yeah, it, it reminds um, me of like so the what scraps do, of yarn that people have when they finish like a project. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, what they'll do is they they just have this model that is the exact same dimensions as a hot glue gun stick, a hot glue stick, oh. and it will print. It'll print the filament into that shape, and then you can use it in a hot glue oh gun. Oh my god! But d- it wouldn't stick, would it? It would just like it. It it wouldn't be sticky yeah, it's, like it's the glue. For, but yeah, p- people mostly use that for like a welding, plastic welding. Oh which is my god! A technique that is used to join join like pieces of prints that have been printed separately. That's and you so stick smart. them together, and you just like use the hot glue gun with yeah. the filament in it to just stick stick those two parts together. <laughs> Plastic welding. Um, yeah. And then then usually you go over that seam with like a, a soldering iron just to make sure it's all it's all actually joined properly. Right, yeah. But yeah. That that's, is that's that really is cool. how like ninety percent of people maybe not the hot glue thing, but like with the, the soldering iron, that's how like ninety percent of people make massive pieces like massive 3d printed projects is that they'll print them in a bunch of small parts and then weld them together like that right that makes sense um, yeah because i have the been printers... planning a i've been planning a laios cosplay from dungeon meshi oh uh and i am going to i i mean okay this is all hypothetical i've yeah. just been thinking about it basically yeah I, I would 3d print the armor i would have to cut my hair oh cut and bleach my hair yes um uh, where I would print the armor in a bunch of small pieces and then have to weld it together. Yeah, right. So, yeah. Or you could just do the old cosplay trick and use foam. Yes, yes I could. It would be much lighter as and, well. But you would but have it to wouldn't look quite as good. paint it and do everything, which would take forever. Yeah, it would take a lot of sanding. But this is a, it would take a, a lot of sanding. This is a pretty reasonable project. Like, it's probably like, yeah. like the beginning I mean, of like a complicated ar- suit of armor because it's not... Like there's some bits, maybe like the shoulders and the 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 knees that would be a little bit tricky. See the yeah, the 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 pauldrons and the knee pads. I was thinking about that, mm. and what I would do is that I'd print them in multiple small parts, uh, and then join them together with elastic so that they were flexible. Ah. Uh. So that I could actually like bend my knees and 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 put my shoulders up like that. Yeah, and right. Stuff on high shelves. Oh, um, on on this this is but, bringing me to my talking point about Dungeon Meshi. Uh huh. Uh, it just reminded me. Well, I don't because I've been watching Game of Thrones, right? Um, uh, you haven't. I no 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 right. I do. I did uh, not know this. Uh, uh, well, I've been watching Game of Thrones, and I am on season two, episode five. I'm about to watch season two, episode huh. five, and I don't fucking know who was I- who. Yeah, I realized I said that in a way that I was like, oh, oh, you're watching Game of Thrones? You're watching Game of Thrones? Like, I watched Game of Thrones? I know fucking nothing about Game of Thrones. I've <laughs> never seen it in my life. No, because one thing I've actually realized about when I watch series with lots of characters, um, I enjoy it mm. less if I don't like a particular character, like, in specific. Like, so when I watch The Walking Dead, I like most of the characters there, but I don't like it as much as Supernatural because the main characters are my two favorite characters. We're in The Walking Dead. My favorite character is like one of the side characters. Uh, so I kind of lose interest. Uh-huh. But with Game of Thrones... We've spoken about this exact thing. Yes, but with Game of Thrones... Before. With Game of Thrones, I just don't remember who anyone is. There's so many characters, I just get fucking confused and I don't understand what's going on. Because you've got like like yep, politics stuff goes. and I don't understand. I'm just watching it for the cool costumes and shit. And I, I I guess what's his name? The guy paid played by Peter Dinklage. I like him, and that's about it. 
Tyrion. Tyrion, Tyrion Lannister. Lannister. Tyrion Lannister is like the yeah. only character I actually kind of like. And then all the others, I'm like, I don't remember who you are or who your family is. Sorry. Mm-mm. But it's it's good. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen Game of Thrones, and I do not plan on watching it just because it's a bit late for me because I've already started. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look that interesting. It's you know what was really funny, all of the actors what uh like uh, are, are British, but it's a it's a US series. Mm-hmm. So how does like yeah I don't know it just feels weird it feels that weird is, having a US made uh, series with all like British accents in it and stuff and like none of the characters yeah. speak in an American accent even though it's an American show and it's not like there's an American actor putting on an accent no there's no Americans in it it's weird I'm sorry I just had to stifle a yawn oh my shoulder popped sorry. <laughs> Talking, talking about Game of Thrones makes me sleepy. <laughs> no, yeah, because... I don't know. It's kind of another show on the extremely long list of shows that I have to catch up on. As you and many of my other friends may know, I'm a chronic show starter. Like, Well, I give you permission to not finish Game of Thrones. But... You have my... But I want to watch the of House of Dragon series. The, the, the new series that came out. No, it's not new, but the newest spin-off, House of the Dragon. Yeah, it looks. Kind I'm of I'm cool, aware of it. I guess it's just Game of Thrones to me. It just has literally no, no, no appeal. No, yeah, no, no I, shine. No, no glint. Even to now, it I'm that, still kind of makes just, me go like. Huh. It's still one of those like background series that I just kind of put on just for something to watch. Hey, like I'm not maybe that invested. That's why you don't know who anyone is. No, well I no, it's just cuz they've they've introduced like a new house and I don't know who's who's who. Like there's a new king and I'm like like I I recognize people's faces. But because there's so many people moving around from different house to house, I don't remember anyone's names or their affiliations. The only like, character I care about is the guy that is played by Pedro Pascal. Yeah. Um He's really hot. He's in season Has four, he... so yeah, I'm not up to that yet. Wow, that's a that's so much TV to watch. Yeah. Oh my god, that makes my and then even then, like I know what happens to him to in the end. So TV. it's so it's not he gets like his fucking eyes gouged out. No, doesn't he just get his head bashed in? No, he gets his eyes gouged out. Uh, 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 uh. he gets th- thumbs jammed is jammed in his eyes. Uh... Um. <laughs> I thought it anyway that o- show Oberyn Martell I, I've never seen like I oh, pretty so much hot. the scene of Pedro Pascal getting his eyes gouged out is the only that that is the only clip that I've ever seen from that show I could not tell you a single other thing that happens in Game of Thrones and we've been talking about it for five minutes I oh I'm just looking at pictures of him <laughs> Just, Appar- apparently just enchanted by pictures of Pedro Pascal. As Urban Martel, yes. The 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 yellow like It's not a coat. What, what is it? Robe that he wears? Ooh. Gorgeous. The hair? Mm. Wow. The slightly exposed chest area? Even better. I mean it's wonderful. I think I think we've spoken about Game of Thrones for long enough. For something that for something that neither of us especially care about, I do kind of care it's about amazing. it. Like it's, it's it's interesting. It's amazing. Who the knows duration if I of might get into it, it or not? Who knows? Game of Thrones. Well, okay. Who knows? I'm I'm changing. I'm vetoing. I'm changing okay. the topic. That's right fine. Now. That's um, fine. I recently bought a uh, a vertical mouse. This is a quick one. Oh, I just recently I, I bought heard a about. Is that the mouse. one where your hands? I've like... never used a vertical mouse before. Is that the one where your hands like um, a Lego hand and it's facing the other way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my it's mom like, has one yeah, of those. Yeah, it's rotated ninety degrees. Oh. Um, it is the most comfortable thing I've ever used. My oh. God, I wish I had bought one sooner. Now that that's out of the way. Yeah. I have started replaying Tears of the Kingdom. I have not spoken about this game since we had that unaired pilot <laughs> like True. a year a year ago basically um my god i love this game tears of the kingdom hold on 
Tears of the Kingdom fucking rules. It's such a cool game. I still haven't played any of the Zelda games you put on my on my DS. <laughs> on on your 3DS? I'm sorry. Play okay, first up first I guess play Ocarina of Time. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Ocarina of Time seems like a good jumping on point. Okay. Yeah. Um and then so, yeah, okay. That's what I was talking about. On the yeah. topic of cosplay. Yes. Getting back to cosplay. Okay. Before I do Laios, I am uh, going to be cosplaying uh, Link from Tis the Kingdom. Oh, I was just discussing. No way. With I was just my my mum just got a new sewing machine. Oh. So I was talking about this this cosplay with her because right. I need to something just I just heard, heard something clatter to the ground. Yeah, I, I heard what that. It was. What the hell was that? A mouse. Okay. Well, never never mind that. Um, There's a mouse in your room. <gasps> I was I I I I've been discussing this cosplay, and I'm going to be 3D printing a master sword oh, and a no scabbard way. for the master sword, <gasps> and the Zonai energy cells that Link keeps on his hip. Right. Um, everything else I'm gonna be making out of foam. Okay. Uh, like uh, I'll need a. I'm gonna be doing the uh, the champion's leathers. So uh, I need a shoulder pad and a like a, a leather chest plate, right? Uh, oh. And then I have the pants for it. I need to get the boots. Um, he wears like a dark, like a really really dark green turtleneck under everything, which is yeah, kind of right. weird. Um. I, are you are you looking at a picture of it? I'm 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 right looking now? at um yeah, and I'm just remembering, didn't someone yeah. get stabbed with like a like a life size version of that sword years ago? Of the master sword. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was a thing, yes, wasn't it? Somebody got stabbed with a with a functional replica of the master sword. Oh my god. That is true. Wow. He went to hospital. I think he lived. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be talking about it. So with with such levity. Um, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 3D printing a monster sword, like a life size monster sword replica. Right. Um, one of the big challenges with this cosplay is the arm. The arm. Because in Tears of the Kingdom, um, Link's right arm is all freaky. He's got a freaky arm. Freaky arm. Um. So Ooh. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get like, hang on. Oh, the green. I'm going to I'm going to get like uh, I'm going to get like a uh like a really dark green like um opera glove. Yeah. And then stick all of this stuff onto it and put some like gray acrylic nails on it. Right. Um to try and try and replicate the way that his his Raru arm. Oh, he fucking looks he reminds me game. of he just reminds me of Finn from Adventure Time. He's got a funny arm, cool sword and long blonde hair. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Who well, did it better? I mean, I... Finn or Link? I think, uh... There's there's something with, like, boy heroes and having their arms fucked up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't think of any other examples off the top of my head, but that feels like a trend. I'm gonna yeah. say Finn's the winner. Anyway. Anyway. Um, oh, on yeah, the topic of cosplay... I, I'm, I, and then, I'm then probably also gonna make the, the champion's tunic. And right. probably buy... Like a, I'm gonna buy a wool knitted tunic to look like the um the chainmail that he wears underneath the tunic. Oh, true. Because like if you if you knit wool, if you knit grey wool and then like dry brush it with like a metallic silver. Yeah, it kind of looks paint, like chainmail. I've seen that like before. Chainmail. It's really cool. Yeah. Can't you print chainmail? It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Man, it is. It's fucking difficult. I was about to you say, I, I would be up it to sucks. making some, but it would take months. And I would yeah. cry a Fuck. lot. Like, chainmail. Chainmail. Oh, I really like, for cosplay. Try. Yeah. The only way that you can you can realistically do it is is have it just knitted wool. Yeah. that that's It's, uh, it's the anyway, best what, idea, what, what, really. What were you going to say? On the topic of cosplay... Just before... Um, with, uh, the, like, spin-off Sandman series coming out, reminds me of the Sandman cosplay we were planning to do, 
and if that is yes. still yeah in the works or because i'm yeah, yeah, growing my hair it. out for that basically yeah i i can t- uh, i've got my uh my ruby oh, i have a yes. ruby on a, a, a on a gold chain i wish i um, had that i honestly. still need to get the coat for that yeah i still need to get the coat for that and i'll just need to dye my hair black and then closer to yeah cut september it but yeah that is that is still definitely on. We I will still, still definitely be doing that for Oz Comic Con. Yeah, because Death's cosplay is pretty fucking easy. I just need the Ankh necklace, and then I'm good. Basically. Yeah, and you can get you can get an Ankh necklace, fucking anywhere. Yeah, people, basically. People just make those. Yeah, so yeah. I don't think that'll be too hard. That'll um, be really fun, and then we can have. I a- just need to buy a like a a just a, like a wool overcoat. Yeah. Like a lapel. Like with yeah, with the lapels. I I don't have one, and I've been meaning to buy one because they look fucking cool. They do. Um, but I will. I'll definitely get one for winter, just regardless. Yeah. So yeah. I also yeah. I'll need to get some boots as well, just like oh. some some like Ch- Chelsea boots. Yeah, right. Because I know that basically all of them. I mean, I know Dream and Death wear like chunky black leather boots. I don't remember what Desire wears though. If Desire even wears shoes. Probably some, like, red stilettos. Probably, yeah. For those who don't know, we're planning on like doing a, a trio cosplay with Max as well. So yes, Max. Uh, who, we are who going as Dream, show. Death, and Desire. So the trio um, from the, Sandman. These are, these are Chelsea boots. I, I just sent you a, sent you an image for for reference. Oh, They're like the leather boots that then yeah. have the that then have like the the elastic elastic strip on yeah the instead side. of like laces or anything. Um, and like the tags on the front and the back. Yeah right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll need to get a pair of those. I mean, those are those are pretty fucking stylish anyway. They're pretty so versatile. Would, so get like a good pair. Those. Yeah. That'll actually last you. I will definitely definitely be getting a good pair. My mum got a really nice pair of those recently like a like women's ones so oh, yeah. I'll, I'll need to talk about her where like where she got those i could probably get a pair from pair from there yeah but yeah i i just need a i have a pair of black chinos yeah i have a black turtleneck mm. i need to get the overcoat and the boots i need but to it's... dye my hair black and then cut it and i have the ruby yeah well, yeah, and may- maybe not cut it. I don't know. I'll see. Wh- I'll see what happens. I yeah. I'll I'll probably end up cutting it. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, because for I yeah, might for... end up wearing a wig. I don't yeah, know. True. Yeah. Because for death, I'm still stuck on whether I should do the makeup. Because I know um, comic wise, death has quite gothic makeup, but series wise, she doesn't wear any. But I think it would be good to have it because it'll be recognizable. I reckon go with the black lipstick and like the unk. Yes, the, the, the unk eye eyeliner. Force. I really want to do that. Or the the eye eye force. Yeah, because because um, she does wear eyeliner. quite gothic eye makeup. Um, I can't spell Sanandam. That's what I spelt. Sand <laughs> sand man makeup. Let's have a look. Yeah. Did you good. know that? Yeah. The. I, I, I didn't know this. Um, the the eye of Horus is only the left eye, and then the right eye with the same like motif is the eye of Ra. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to get like the whole white base as well. I just realized. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't know whether you will actually need. This will be so much fun. Like actually. But yeah, I reckon. I reckon you'll just need like eyeshadow. And then the the Eye of Horus, and then black lipstick, and you'll probably be good. Yeah, and then just the singlet, necklace, jeans, and I'll be fine, really. Yeah. Yeah, great. And then we might um might make me a bit pale, just like yeah, a, probably just like a slightly lighter. Because Dream is slightly just slightly lighter base, and maybe a little bit of like slight bit of eyeshadow and some eyeliner yeah dreams is really fucking pasty i mean they all are in the comics at least (laughs) yeah well that brings us pretty much exactly to 30 minutes oh perfect so do you want to do an iron nice timing we're actually finishing on time on time for once yeah no we we were we we, we've been on time the last couple weeks yeah true um Hmm. am i the asshole 
Let's have a look. I should probably start preparing these in advance, shouldn't I? I, I always look a few minutes before we finish. I want to read some of them out, but it would take too long and we would get into like a whole other thing. So you always have to find like a good... Oh, ah, this is pretty... Hmm. This is good. Okay. Am I the asshole for not going to my in-laws because they try to give milk to my allergic daughter without telling me? Huh. Jesus, what? Uh, what the fuck? It's, uh, uh, I don't I don't understand why some people do that, how they and then, have like... Yeah, it says not the asshole. That's why people they, voted, because it's pretty obvious that they're not the fucking asshole for doing that. Yeah. Pe- some people have this like weird aversion to like the concept of allergies. Yeah, they're like, oh they'll no, be it's like, just... oh, you just need to you just need to Get train your body it. Yeah. to to accept That's it. That's not how it works. I fucking wish it did. Seems like a se- very much uh, seems like an in laws thing to do. Yeah, there's so many in laws stories I've heard of of I don't my you know my husband's annoyed because I don't go to my in laws anymore, and then the in laws turns out they like chopped the daughter's hair off. Without their permission insane. or something. Yeah. I've heard stories like that. It's crazy. Do you have well, one? Or are we... That's it? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, we, we, let's, let's, let's leave it off there. That's all right. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Thank watching, you guys listening. for listening. Maybe one day they'll be watching. Thank you. Maybe. One day. Hopefully. It, uh, video content. Yeah. We, we, video uh, content is a pain in the ass to do. We're, I'll, we're, I'll be we're, honest. We're thinking about it. Well, the thing is, is that, like, what I would have to do is, for video content, I would have to edit the audio and the video at the same time. Oh. Which would be completely impossible. It would be such a... It would be such... Such a painful thing to do that I really Mm. could not be fucked. Well, we could just... So... Who knows? Maybe one day we'll just have a... On the YouTube channel, we'll just have videos of us, like, playing games or something maybe maybe hopefully maybe oh maybe maybe yeah okay okay well thank you thank you for listening thanks for listening guys Uh, we'll see you next week see you next week goodbye bye 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 how does that work in the real world